Welcome to the chapter Motion. Drawing Displacement Vectors Consider a person standing at point P and moves X kilometers towards point Q located in east along PQ and then after reaching at point Q he starts moving along QR a distance equal to Y kilometers due north. The actual length of the path traveled by the person to reach point R is the length of PQ plus the length of QR. So, X plus Y kilometers is the distance traveled by him. Already we know that distance is scalar quantity and its value can never be zero or negative during the motion of the body. In the same example, join the point P and R to know shortest distance. The length of the straight line P or is the displacement from P to R. Thus, the displacement represents the shortest straight line path between the initial and the final positions. Here, the displacement can be found by using the Pythagorean theorem or hypotenuse theorem. Displacement is a vector quantity and it can be positive or negative or zero. Note, the distance covered and the displacement are time-dependent quantities. Suppose a person again travels from R to P, comes back to the original position. Then the person has zero displacement even though he was moved through a distance. Because the person moves back to his original position, that is final position coincides with the initial position.